Hi, thanks for checking in. I'm Brian Risk. During the pandemic, I decided to put some time into improving my percussion skills. In the process, I put some thought into a drum riser system. That's the topic of my video. Stick around, I'll tell you all about it. The purpose of a riser is to elevate the drum kit on stage. The kit is typically at the rear of the stage, so using levels creates a more interesting look. In this case, my riser provides a 4-inch lift, but I can easily add blocks for a custom lift in unique situations. You will notice it's painted stage black to provide function and minimal distraction. We want it to blend in. The riser also serves as a base to secure the kit and pedals. This reduces wear and tear on the fasteners and allows you to tidy up the wiring, giving it a very clean look. In my case, I'm fortunate as I use a cargo trailer to move my gear. When it's time to move the kit, you simply lift one end with the handles. The wheels on the opposite end engage with the ground and you can easily roll it about. You can go from trailer to playing in about five minutes. The riser is made up of two sections. The larger is 29 inches across, which will house the drum kit and allow the assembly to go through doorways. The standard doorway is about 32 inches wide. I left a few inches of wiggle room to deal with crash bars and doorknobs. The second section is 19 inches across and connects to the main section using sofa couplers. These couplers are simple to connect and secure the two sections together. The second section has three storage areas for miscellaneous equipment such as drumsticks, microphones, cables, water bottles, drum keys, whatever else might be useful at a gig. The concealed, self-closing and self-supporting hinges give it a clean look. The main section has a storage area for a power cable. This cable feeds a pair of duplex receptacles to power the kit, the powered monitor, and anything else that might be in the area. The wheels on the end of the riser are off the ground by about an eighth of an inch during playing. This allows the riser to sit level and secure. When the opposite end is hoisted, the wheels engage allowing for easy rolling transport. A facade is used to hide the wheels during the performance, giving it a clean and finished look. Fully assembled, the riser measures four feet square, so its footprint on the stage is reasonable. Its basic construction uses half-inch plywood on two by fours located on 16-inch centers. The wiring is done to code and can handle 15 amps. Let's give things a listen. 